Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Hebrews 13 verse 6. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Yes, friends, if we know that God is with us, if we know that God will never leave us nor forsake us, then we can say with confidence that I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Because God is my help. If God is my help, who can be against me? Well, remember, friends, that he promised that he will be my ever-present help. He will be my defense. He will be my advocate. So if he is the one that is helping me, what can man do to me? What can they do to me? And yet often, friends, I have a misplaced priority. I would rather please men than please God. Which is wrong. See, men, you can never please them, friends. You will always fall short of their expectations. They demand more. And what reward do you get from them? Nothing. Criticism. Maybe the approval. They say, oh, you are my friend. Is that all? But after all the sufferings, after all the sacrifices, is that all that you get from them? Sometimes criticism. Sometimes, yes, you are my friend. But half hardly spoken. They are not true to their friendship to you. Is that all friends that you want? But if we are able to please God, then if God is pleased, friends, he will pour out such a blessing that there is no room enough even to receive it because he is God. And if we are able to please God, he will make even our enemies be at peace with us. So why don't we please God more than anybody else? Amen. So let's say with confidence that God is our help. And we don't fear men what they do to us. They can only kill the body if ever. But they cannot kill the soul. They cannot do anything more. But God can do all things, friends. He can send even the soul to hell. But if we have the right priority now, let's not fear men. Even let's fear God. Well, friends, my prayer for all of us is that let's spend more time with God. More than spending time with people. What can they do to you? Can they bless you? To the point that you say that, Lord, or brother, I got too much. You bless me so much. No. So, please God and not man. Hallelujah. And if God is with you, be assured of this, that nobody can go against you. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Because if they come against you, they will be up against God. Because God is your defender. Hallelujah. So friends, may you be blessed every day with the desire to know God more and to please Him more. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.